This looks like the corridor that leads to the sleeping chambers. Let's go. Where are we heading? Find Arushka, what do you think? She could be anywhere. Hang on, hang on. Hi. Whatever happens, Draco will get Noah Daniels this time. Yeah, and when he does, we'll make him wish he'd never been born. Boy, they're real fans of yours. Yeah. Stay behind me and keep quiet. Thank you. Now, Cleo, let's just go through this fantastic story, eh? One, you were outside the bioplex for the whole time of Big Red, and yet you come back alive and kicking. Yeah, but... Two, our oxygen packs are only good for a couple of hours. So why aren't you dead? Cleo, no one's ever survived outside for that amount of time. I rested in one of those caves. Where? By the rock wall, to the south. That wouldn't have helped you with the oxygen? That's just it, Draco. Just inside the cave, there were bubbles coming up from the ground. When I woke up, I was well again. Bubbles? Yeah, there must have been oxygen or something. I mean, how else could I be alive? I'll check it out, Cleo. So you better not be lying. We've got to get them back. Yes, but that's not so easy. Sure, Noah managed to reopen the wormhole, but they disappeared before the computer had locked onto the coordinates. There has to be some way we can open it again. Oh, uh, yeah, and you're an expert now? No, but if Noah can do it, your mum can. Well, to tell you the truth, Noah's way ahead of me on this wormhole technology, but I'm working on it. So, Quan, just give her some space. Yeah, OK. I've got to go keep an eye on the animals. They're my responsibility now that Arushka and Chip aren't here. Kwan, I'll find a way. I promise. Thanks. And... Uh, and... Good luck. Um, have you tried going into the Omega Files? Didn't you just say something about space? Shh. It's clear. She'll know where Rushka is. You think we can trust her? You got any better ideas? Well, if they catch her, you're dead meat. Hey, Cleo. I told you, I can't help you anymore. I'm in enough trouble. We've got to find our friend. Where is she? Look, once we found her, we'll be out of here, I promise. Down that way. Turn left and left again. It's the detention chamber. I've got to go now. It's resting time. I don't like the sounds of that detention chamber. It wasn't in the original plans. Let's move. Yes! I thought we might run in here. I had to go here. Not same old brain power, of course. Yeah, sure. And now we're gonna get you out. Well, great, let's go. Hold on, hold on. What is up with this place? I know it's a Delta, but it's weird. Oh, we have to move. They hate you here. If you get caught... I know, I know. I've heard them. They all want to kill me. Why? Look, we're 45 years into the future. That explains why everything's so out of whack, but what's it got to do with me? Apparently there was a war with Earth. The kids here lost all their parents. Oh, they just disappeared. So why do they blame Noah for that? All I know is they do. You're in big trouble if they catch you. Yeah, come on, Noah. Get us home. Hang on a minute. If they're still using wormhole technology, then the Nexus chamber must still be here, right? Yeah, it is. Follow me. They helped design this place, right? shift in the Nexus chamber, right? Yeah, I've got to solve the codes by morning. And you don't have to watch. I'll get rid of them for you. No, no, no. no. Hey! What? Hey! Who are you? Oh, let go of me. He's from the Earth. He was at the Daniels house. He was, was he? You're coming with us. 
go after him. No, no, not by yourself. Oh, you've got to hit the wormhole ready. I will never get out of here. Ah, uh, okay, be careful. Right. Where are you taking me? You don't ask questions around here, kid. You answer them. Feather brain. Can I help you? Oh, Sid Greenaway at your service. Uh, just here taking photos in this glorious temple to Mother Nature. <laughs> Greedy guts. Ah, so that's what they like. Eh? Doesn't mince his words, does he? he doesn't like strangers. So, uh, where's the young lady who runs this place? Ariska's not here today. Oh, that's odd. She never mentioned to me that she was going away. She's never mentioned you at all. Oh, that's very odd. I visit often, take photographs of the animals for wildlife magazines. You must have seen them. I don't read magazines. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I'll uh, just get on with it, shall I? Beautiful. Natural subjects for the camera. Thanks to my photos, people all over the world who've never been exposed to these creatures will be able to see what they look like. It'll be an empty world without animals. If I don't get on with the rest of the feeding, it's the animals who are going to be empty. May I watch? Look, mister, whoever you are, you're in the way. So just take your camera and go. All right. All right. There's no need to be unpleasant. What are you doing here? What do you want? Come on, spit it out. Who are you and how did you get to E-Delta? Uh, I'm an agent on a solo mission from Earth, sent to rescue Arushka. Oh, yeah. Sent by who? Uh, the, the agency. Agency? That's what they call us, Earth's crack intergalactic counter-spy force. You're a bit young to be a spy, aren't you? Oh, we're a special school. They pick us out on my babies. I don't believe you. Okay, but you'll be sorry, because I've set a bomb! And it'll go off in exactly one hour unless you let me and Arushka escape safely back to Earth. Where is it? You'll find out pretty soon. You bet we will, because you're going to take us to this bomb now!
नाइस नमस्कार Daniels, the boy wonder. Who are you? Don't you recognize me? Why should I? You knew me very well once upon a time. You briefed me prior to our expedition to E-Delta. Amanda Collins? Curly Collins to my friends. I had a bit more hair in those days. So tell me, Noah, what are you doing here? Haven't you done enough damage to this colony already? Oscar? without special equipment. Like what? Uh, wire cutters and gloves. Get them. Oh, I know what's happened. We're in the wrong section. We've got to go back that way. Oh, it all looks the same in this place. You can't blame me for getting mixed up. Okay. You go check on the girl in the detention chamber. You move. Look at this mess. The young are so sloppy. Where are you? I mean, the real you. Well, you tell me. I was lost along with the others, you see. Before we went, I created a hologram of myself and stored it in the computer. If anything happened to us, the young ones left behind would have the benefit of my wisdom. But uh, it didn't work out that way. They don't take any notice of me. What did you mean, uh, uh, before we went? Oh, I forget. I'm talking to the young Noah. You don't know what you did. You've got a few shocks coming. So, so what did I do? When you reached the age of 36, you were appointed president of the Horizon Foundation. 
Your first decision was to abandon this colony and to order us back from the place we now called home. We wouldn't leave. You then declared war on us. I don't believe you. Stay with me. There's worse to come. Quick, Becky, we've got to look at the grid. Why? What's the big rush? It's Oscar, he's gone. Maybe he flew off somewhere. He does have wings, you know. Yeah, very funny. There were feathers all over the cabin. He's been taken for sure. Okay, let's see. Which one's him? I've got a punch in Oscar's code number. Now, the dot picking up his electronic tag. Come on, Oscar, where are you? That's him there. He's left the reserve. You stay here and monitor the other animals. There, my lovely Sibelia. We'll see if this will calm the noisy little brute down. I think it will. <laughs> Soon you'll be sleepy boys. Oscar. Oh, Oscar? Who's Oscar? You had him in here? <laughs> Look, this is private property. Now get off before I throw you off. Better not try that again, mister. You're a thief. <laughs> Don't go slandering me, young fella. <laughs> Come on, Oscar. It doesn't make any sense. If I thought the colony should be abandoned, then there must have been a reason. That's a fair question. It was always a struggle on E-Delta, right from the first. Of course, the Bioplex itself was a huge success, providing good air, protecting us from the extremes of heat, just as you and the engineers planned. So what went wrong? We tried everything, but we could never get the terraforming to work. We seemed totally unable to bring the dead Earth of E-Delta to life. In that case, why didn't you want to head back to Earth? You don't understand. We'd invested all our hopes, all our energies, into making E-Delta our home. We believed that if we kept trying, one day we'd bring the planet to life. And the children, they'd grown up here. This is their home. To tear them away would have scarred them forever. So what happened? You waged war on us. We should stop telling me what I did. Did, will do. What's the difference? It's just a matter of time. The boy became a man, and the man changed. Oh, you pretended to oppose the war. You pretended to offer us peace. Pretended? And then you ratted on us. You offered us a truce, Noah. You offered the adults of e -Delta safe passage through the wormhole to discuss the peace terms. We went through the wormhole, all of us. And we were never seen again. I'd never have done that. You did. You double-crossed us. You wiped us off the face of the universe. Forever. Oh, here we are then. Good. This is starting to look a bit familiar. Uh, in there. You've taken us everywhere else. OK, just let me think. Where is it? Oh, no. I've lost it. My mind, my memory, I've completely lost what? it. The microchip they put in my brain just before I left. It was pre-programmed to modify my brain cells. Under question. Okay, stop playing games. For the last time, tell me where it is! Hey, it's Draco. What's going on? We caught him inside. An Earth boy. Yeah, I know who he is. 
There's another one inside as well. Another one? It's an invasion! Search the place! The Earth Girl! She's not in the detention centre. She's escaped. What? Fix the door! And sound the alarm! I'll go and find her. Quick, Hurley, punch in the conversion factors to open the wormhole. I couldn't help you even if I wanted to. What? Why not? I might live in that computer, but I can't program it to do anything. You see? You're on your own. Well, well, just give me the numbers. I'll do the rest. That'll be breaking my oath of secrecy. Well, we have no time for this. It was you yourself who imposed the oath on the original advisory council who drew up the charter of this colony. Well, I rescind it. That can only be done by the full council of the Horizon Foundation. Look, Curly, I don't want to have to do this, but, but you really give me no choice. No, you can't do that. You'll arrange me. I will. Unless you decide to cooperate. Who's he? He's helping us. Against my will. Get on with it. The creature goes after us. Well? Oh, enter the pi gamma sub-equation. All right. Got it. Quick standby. No! Guess who that was? Noah Daniels. You just missed him.